This is the International Space Station. We hear you loud and clear. A warm welcome to the International Space Station for Canadian astronaut David St. Jacques, who made a textbook journey from Kazakhstan to the ISS today, sharing a Soyuz rocket with an American and a Russian for the roughly six hour trip. And liftoff. We have liftoff of Anne McLean to beat St. Jacques and Oleg Kononenko blasting through the Kazakh sky to the International Space Station. A successful docking followed by a greeting for the newcomers by the space station's existing crew of three. Next out is David St. Jacques of the Canadian Space Agency. Moments later, Governor General Julie Payette, a former astronaut herself, delivered a message to St. Jacques via communications link to the space station. The teamwork that you demonstrate today is exactly what we should replicate on Earth more often. Merci, we'll be same here. Today's launch comes less than two months after a failed mission sent two astronauts racing back down to Earth, where they did land safely. A sensor failure was to blame, according to a Russian investigation. Since then, four successful unmanned launches cleared the way for today's liftoff. Nous sommes prêts, et puis c'est la fin d'un long chemin euh, vers les étoiles. Speaking in Russia after passing a final exam a few weeks ago, Saint Jacques said he and his fellow crew members were ready after completing a long route towards the stars. Before his journey as the ninth Canadian to reach space, a touching moment between Saint Jacques and one of his three children saying goodbye. Here on the ground today, a viewing party in Longueuil, Quebec, cheering on the astronauts. Also watching the liftoff, former astronaut Robert Thirst, who shared the advice he gave to Saint Jacques. What he's doing right now is incredible. Very few people have ever done it. So take time to stop and think about what you're doing for Canada, for humanity. Look out the window without a camera. Just look down at the, the planet and think about what the big picture is. Saint Jacques and the two fellow crew members who joined him today on his journey will be spending more than six months in space doing research, conducting experiments, and Saint Jacques will also be celebrating a birthday in space. He was born January 6, 1970 in Quebec City. Background, very accomplished, an engineer, an astrophysicist, a family doctor. And Saint Jacques is the first Canadian in space since Chris Hadfield ended his mission in 2013. Hadfield well known for tweeting from space. You can follow along with Saint Jacques as well. He's got a Twitter handle. It is at Astro underscore David S.